This video is sponsored by Altium. Hi, in this video, we will look at AI based image generation. So, the contents of these videos are AI based image generation, and then we will look at AI image generators in which we have uh, different. AI image generators, we will look at Midjourney, then we will look at DALI2, then we will look at Imagen, then Stable Diffusion. So we will discuss all of these image generators after uh, AI-based image generation. So what AI-based image generation is? Images generated through a AI technology. So AI images are pictures generated through artificial intelligence technology. Basically, the images are created from scratch. So all the user needs to do is type in a text prompt that describes the desired image. AI algorithms can create uh, original high quality images by combining and altering existing images. So neural networks can be used to create images that mimic the style of a particular artist or to create images or videos that are similar to a particular type of art. So image generation is the latest technological advance in artificial intelligence industry. With it, you can create original and high quality images in seconds and all you need is your imagination and a single sentence. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. So. There are different examples uh, of AI-based image generation. We can create different images based on different ways. So uh, using concrete word examples, an image is shown in this figure, in this slide, where the microscope are, uh, the concrete words examples are the microscope, the cell phone, tree, camcorder, ketchup, bird, tractor, bike, mule, seagull, spaghetti. So there are different words like cage, ball, peacock, pitchfork, tie, tomato, mousetrap, lantern, axe, bug, sled, plank, bagel, carton, fire truck, tiramisu, crawfish, eagle, umbrella, cupcake, etc., etc. So these are uh, some of examples of the concrete words. Using these, we can create different type of images. So using concrete words, all images depict the concrete thing, a microscope in this case. So this image is generated using open AI. So this is uh, uh, an AI based image based on the concrete word examples. The other way, we can create the images, A by image, uh, AI based images using abstract word examples. So here in this slide, this is a figure which is created by abstract word examples. So what you mean by abstract word examples? So extra words on the other hand will give you more varied results. Abstract word examples are hope, progressive, sainted, adequate, sufficient, 
reality, faithfulness, sensation, intent, likability, agnosticism, controllability, determinate, dignify, standpoint, imperative, absurd. So these are some of the examples of abstract word. So let's say in case of abstract words, various things are shown. Let's say balloons, face, floating sword, uh, in this case, in this figure, and cloud, etc., etc. So, so these are the AI-based images uh, generated on the basis of abstract word examples. Then, while creating AI-based images, we need to write positive prompts. So write positive prompts, that is, the, that is to say, describe what should exist, not what is missing. So uh, let's say we are going to write a prompt, a man without a beard. So this prompt will produce a bearded man because the AI takes things literally. So if something is in the prompt, it is more likely to image it. So thus, instead of writing a man without a beard, we need to write a cleanly shaved man. So for images with predictability, clean shaven man. So this is an example of write positive prompt. So one, once on the, in this figure, in this image, you can see on the left side, once we will provide a prompt, a man without a beard, so this will produce this image. Otherwise, on the contrary, if we will write a cleanly shaved man, so then it will produce a different image. So the AI th takes the things literally. So the explanation, explanation of this is the AI was trained on images and caption pairs, so which would almost always mention words on the picture and almost never what is missing. So that's the reason behind this.